Hello dear learners, I am Dr. Akhilesh Singh. I am Assistant Professor and Program Coordinator in Department of Tourism, Uttarakhand Open University. Today we will discuss about different functions of a travel agency. In our previous lecture, we understood about different types of travel agency in which we understood that there are two types of travel agencies. First one is retail travel agency and the second one is wholesale travel agency. Now we will discuss about different functions of travel agency. There are 10 important functions of a travel agency. First one is providing travel related information, then providing tour itineraries, then licensing with the tourism suppliers or vendors, then tour costing, then ticketing in which we include domestic or international ticketing, then hotel reservations, then documentation, settlement of accounts, MICE related works and last important function of travel agency is foreign exchange or forex. Now we will understand each point, each point in descriptive way, providing travel related information. As we know that when a person decides to travel to any destination, then he has so many doubts and queries about the destination. He wants to know about the climatic condition, uh, about the language of the destination, about the distance between two destinations, about the accommodation uh, types available at the destination. And to uh, solve his all queries or problems, he travels to a travel agency where a travel agent provides him reliable and complete information. If a travel agent will not provide reliable and complete information to the tourist, then a tourist will not uh, travel uh, or interested to take the services of that particular travel agency. So every travel agency should provide reliable information. A travel agent uh, gives him all information in his own language, means a tourist's language. And he uh, tell him that uh, what will be the climatic condition of a destination when a person will travel to the destination, what will be the distance between two particular destinations, what will be the distance uh, from uh, uh, airport to hotel, from railway station to hotel and from one destination to another destination. So a travel agency should provide uh, uh, true information to the tourist, only then he will be motivated to travel to a destination and he will uh, again visit to take services of that particular travel agency. Then planning tour itineraries. Uh, as we know that after uh, resolving all queries of tourist, a tourist agrees to purchase a uh, tour component or a complete tour package from a travel agent. And after taking all these details, uh, now it's time uh, when a travel agent prepares complete tour package and tour itinerary. A tour itinerary uh, includes all the destination, timing, date, arrival time, departure time of a destination. A, without uh, tour itinerary, a tourist cannot understand on which particular day he will travel to any destination. So a tour itinerary is like a timetable which includes all the basic details of a destination. A tour itinerary not only helps to the tourist, but it also helps to the escort and the bus driver or taxi driver who travels along with the tourist. If uh, they have uh, these itineraries, then it will help them to reach to a destination on particular time. Now, licensing with the tourism suppliers or vendors. A travel agent makes good relationship with the tourism service providers or vendors because if it has good relationship with these service providers then it will get uh, good costs on if and if it will get, get good costs then it will be able to give good discounts to the tourists and a travel agent makes its relationship with hotels, airlines, rail, railways, banks, insurance companies, transport operators, cruise companies, etc. If a travel agency doesn't make relationship with these tourism sub suppliers, then it will not get good, uh, good uh, price of a product and then it will also not able to give good discounts to the customer. Then tour costing. Tour costing is the important function of travel agency and a tour costing includes the tour cost uh, of hotel, meals, 
ट्रांसफर कॉस्ट साइट सीन कॉस्ट गाइड कॉस्ट एस्कॉट कॉस्ट एटसेट्रा एंड आफ्टर एडिंग दीज कॉस्ट इन ए टूर पैकेज ए ट्रेवल एजेंसी आल्सो इंक्लूड्स सर्विस चार्जेस इन द टोटल ऑफ द टूर कॉस्ट इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शन इफ इट इट विल बी डन इन ए गुड वे और इन ए करेक्ट वे ओनली देन ए ट्रेवल एजेंसी विल बी एबल टू गेट गुड प्रॉफिट आफ्टर सेलिंग टूर पैकेज देन टिकटिंग इन टिकटिंग वी इंक्लूड डोमेस्टिक टिकटिंग एंड इंटरनेशनल टिकटिंग टिकटिंग there are there is a department in ticketing and uh, uh, this department works is to sell tickets of such uh, persons who are interested to travel from one destination to another destination international ticketing department sells tickets to such persons who are interested to travel from one country to another country and domestic ticketing department sells tickets to such uh, customers who are interested to travel from one destination to another destination within their own country's boundary sometimes uh, there is a single section in this department which sells both domestic and international tickets and sometimes there are two sections it depends upon the size and demands of the tickets of a travel agency then hotel reservations hotel reservations department uh, books hotel rooms for a customer a hotel reservation uh, department employees should know about the different types of accommodation their cost their location uh, of a particular destination if a hotel reservation department uh, doesn't have this basic information then it will not able to uh, book hotel rooms for a tourist it should provide all the basic details to the tourist before selling these rooms now documentation in documentation we include passport visa health certificate travel insurance permit required for restricted area etc in documentation we include passport because a passport as we know is the highest identity uh, of a person who is the resident of a particular country and if a person is interested to travel to a particular country then he should have passport and the travel agency helps him to get his passport then visa visa is also necessary to travel to any foreign country if a person doesn't have visa then he will not able to visit to a particular country and a travel agency also helps him to get visa then health certificate health certificate is necessary to travel to some countries and uh, Uh, without having health certificates a person cannot travel to some countries of or if a person is interested to travel from any infected country then he should also have health certificate and travel agency helps him a lot to get health certificate on uh, proper time and in a proper way travel insurance travel insurance uh, is uh, one of the important uh, functions of a travel agency and uh, by selling travel insurance travel agency good earn, earns good uh, profit and uh, uh, these days uh, many tourists are interested to purchase travel insurance because it uh, saves their uh, their different kinds of losses while traveling to a destination then permit required for restricted area as we know that uh, in every country there are some areas which are restricted for tourists and uh, before traveling to such destinations a person should have uh, permits from the different authorities and a travel agency helps him to get uh, these permits to travel to such restricted areas then settlement of accounts after uh, selling uh, tour packages to the tourists now it's time to settle accounts and this uh, work is done by the accounts department with the coordination of a uh, debt department which has sold uh, any particular component or any particular component to the tourist and uh, this is done by the uh, coordination of both accounts department and that particular department in which they include the different costs their profit of a tour package now mice related work as we know that mice includes meeting incentive con 
conference and exhibition and in this department all arrangements to conduct any conference or exhibition or any meeting is done by the travel agency in this travel agency books conference hall and uh, hotel rooms provides uh, tra uh, transport related services to the delegates who uh, gather at any particular destination from different parts of the world nowadays as we know that uh, dif com different companies or, or organizations don't have time to organize any big event and so they re for this services they rely they rely on any particular travel agency which also deals mice related work then the final function of a travel agency is foreign exchange in which a travel agency provides foreign currency and traveler check to a person who is intended to travel to any different country in foreign exchange uh, as we know that a travel agency has to make good relationship with the banks because only after making good relationship with the banks a travel agency can get foreign currency and traveler check for his tourist and uh, if it will make good relationship with the bank only then it will be able to get good discounts and good jo hai ki profit so dear students and uh, here we had discussed about different functions of a travel agency and uh, i think uh, it will be helpful for you to understand about these functions and uh, about uh, dif uh, different works of a particular department in our next video we will discuss about any other topic thank you so much